Hello, this is a demo of the IBM Connections 4.0 app for the iPad. When you first launch the app, you can quickly stay up to date with status updates from your colleagues. If there's something interesting, you can tap the status update, and from here, you can like it, comment on it, and reshare it. To like it, simply tap on the happy face on the bottom right of the screen. Now, you can also stay up to date with other things within Connections. For example, what colleagues are doing within communities, or what files are they sharing, and so forth. In the unfollowing view, you see the activity stream from the people that you're following. Now notice that as I scroll down, not only do you see updates from connections per se, but you can also see updates from third-party applications. For example, here's an order that was submitted via SAP. If I want to, I can fill in the details of the order right here, escalate it, edit it, and continue the workflow making me productive and effective wherever I am. I can also stay up to date with third-party social networks, for example, YouTube. Once the video opens, I can quickly play it from here. Another example is Twitter. For example, I can see that somebody replied to one of my tweets. Here's a tweet, and if I want to, I can tap on reply. And now I can reply to the tweet. What makes the activity streaming connections very powerful is that I'm looking at the same things that I will be looking at in my desktop browser. All of these embedded experiences are powered by open social, and this provides an amazing advantage to developers because they can develop once and their gadgets are going to run everywhere. Now, another new feature of the app is the ability to post a status update and attach a photo and also check in geographically. To do that, tap the plus sign in the bottom left of the screen, select status update, and you can even use Siri if you want to. IBM Connections rocks. Perfect. Now I type in the location button. Perfect. And now I can take a photo or choose one of the existing photos in my camera roll. To take a photo, I'm going to go ahead and take a photo of the screen. And we'll do this very meta. Now that I've checked in geographically and I've attached my photo, I can post a status update and you can see it's all very quick. And now looking back at the activity stream, there's a photo. The activity stream also has infinite scrolling, so I can, I can keep going down and the updates just keep adding automatically. Now, one of the powerful features of the native app is the ability to do type ahead search. For example, I can type in a few letters and back come all the results related to the search that I'm doing. If I want to, I can pick a community and see information about the community and also the activity stream for that community. Similar to the homepage, I can now tap in any particular status update or update from a forum and see more information about it. Here's a photo about a row. And notice the color coding helps me figure out the current thread within the discussion topic. Now, notice that this question has not been answered. If I think that one of the answers is correct, for example, I can take this one. And now as the community moderator, I can accept this one as the answer. Now, one other new feature in the app is that now we can take discussion forums offline. So if you load this before going to a plane, you can now start browsing those discussion topics even when you are not connected to a network. And that is in addition to the ability to take profiles offline and even files offline. Now, an advantage of having a native app is the ability to also have offline files. I know I can confidently download files because those downloads are securely stored in my device. They are encrypted, and that way, if my device is lost or stolen, nobody can see the data. And I can even call my connections team back at the office and ask them to do a remote wipe command directly from the connection server with no additional software required. Now that I open a file, if I want to, I can also like it by tapping the happy face in the bottom right of the screen. I can download it, share it, even more options. So let me go ahead and download. That file has been stored in my device, encrypted, very secure and very easy. As you can tell, IBM Connections is ready for the enterprise. 
Now, one of the other things that I want to show you is the ability to extend the mobile app. Not only can you run open social gadgets within the IBM Connections app, but the Connections team can also extend it by adding menu items in the left-hand side. For example, I can see a couple of new options added to the app, like this new page recommending some of the top ways to use connections. And the page can also take advantage of the full real estate of the iPad, making it very easy to browse and consume the content. And of course, the team has full control of this page, so they can update it as many times as they want to. Another option is the ability to follow Twitter mentions. For example, what are people saying about my products or my brand? As an employee, it's very important and very beneficial for me to easily stay up to date with what people are saying about my company's products. And one of our partners has already taken advantage of this extensibility option. It's very easy. All you have to do is simply modify one configuration file in the backend and you can quickly add your app into the iPad app for connections. Now, let me show you one last thing that we added in this version of the app. When I go into profiles, I can quickly see my network. And let's say that I pick Jasmine because she's one of my colleagues that people are often asking about and they want to capture her information. Well, I can quickly share my, the contact by email, SMS, or even generating a QR code. Now, somebody can quickly scan the code and add Jasmine's information into the smartphone. So that gives you an overview of some of the new features in the IBM Connections 4.0 app for the iPad. So to learn more, go to ibm.com social.